So now I want to take a moment to talk to you about the Unified Design Center for building out your smaller, medium-sized businesses. And what's great about it is, is that it lets you really get down into the fine details of figuring out all of your cable paths, designing where all your devices are going to go, and works really well for multi-story buildings or locations that have multiple IDFs. In this particular location that I'm working on, we have our server room that's tucked way over on the side. and uh, I don't want to take and run cables all the way over from one side of the building to the other. That's uh, inefficient, wastes a lot of extra cable. So we're going to put our main distribution frame in the server room here, and that's where we'll put our routers, the UDM Pro, and a good chunk of the core switching. But then we're going to take and run and put a smaller IDF, or an independent distribution frame, over here kind of near the restrooms. And from here, I'll be able to place out where I want all of my access points and be able to map out exactly where I want to have all the in-room wired ports. And between the rack, the IDF, and the MDF, that's where I'll be able to take and, and run that connection. We're going to have a lot of fun. Let's go. So here we are at one of the installs that we're finishing up. I'm standing in the MDF, the main distribution frame for this location. This location also has an IDF, an independent distribution frame. You'll notice that we have our raceway at the top and we also have our conduit that's going up into the ceiling. And that conduit runs out to distribute the cable through the rest of this floor and then also allows the path to get down to the second floor. One of the things that you wanna take a look at when you're at a commercial location is especially with installing the cable, is that you don't want to hang that cable off of other trades. The other trades are going to be like your sprinkler system, the HVAC ducting, any of the electrical lines. Always make sure that you're having your own dedicated support for your cables. Again, plan that out. Make sure that you have good clean pass and that you're not hanging up on anything. And make sure that you're doing proper bracing and seismic support for anything that you install, your racks, your cable management. So what I'd like to do now, why don't we go and get up in the ceiling. I'll show you how we ran the cable up there and we'll also do an access point install. All right, so we're up above the grid. I set this tile with the AP mount for it already so we could have that in place and thought I'd point out. So remember I talked about keeping the cable supported and on your own support. We use J hooks supported with the beam clamps right to the building structure. These all run back down towards the MDF, and then everything continues on down to all of the other field locations, keeps it nice and tidy. We're not supporting off of any of the HVAC, the duct work, or anything else. This particular location, we're gonna put our AP. We already went ahead and capped it. Uh, we talked about termination in episode one, so you can go back and look at that. And Again, we don't want to leave the cables laying down on the tile. So we'll put in a little bit of a service loop right here. Conveniently, there's a J hook right here. But if you didn't have one, you could use a piece of Velcro just to keep it tied up. And we're going to drop it down and then we'll go mount the access point. All right, so we'll get this access point mounted now and then we'll head down to the next location. So now we're up above the grid ceiling that we have at this installation. So as we come around to each location and we're gonna go down to the wall location, we're putting two drops at each location, two individual runs. One thing we tend to do is we will label those cables as we start pulling them out of the box. That way we know our cable counts and we know where we're putting them in the building. This way when we're terminating, we've got them in a nice order on the panel. So we label those at the end before we start pulling them and then at the other end when we cut them. So before I came up, uh, I ran our fish tape up through here. This particular installation, the electricians installed conduit. And I can show you down below why that particularly is for this location. If your cables are in conduit, they can run down next to electrical. Many times you'll have conduit runs that have to go external on a wall you don't want to necessarily tack the cables to the wall. So you can put in conduit. And that's where the fish tapes are great. You can just take and strap on, pull down through the other side. If this wall's filled with insulation, 
that's where you're not gonna necessarily be able to just push the cable through. You're gonna bind up on the insulation. And that's where a fish tape is real convenient because you can take and get the fish tape up to the top that's a little more rigid, connect on, and then pull the cable down versus spending hours trying to fish that cable out through the wall. So I get just a little bit of tape on here. It doesn't have to be ideal, just enough to keep it secure. And then we've got our cable ready to go and we can pull it down at the bottom. So now we're down off the ladder from out of the ceiling. And as we're finishing up this install, I wanna point out that the electrician's already come through and done their portion of the trim. Uh, this is a unique install. These electrical boxes are specifically designed to be able to have electrical and data in them. And that is not typical. It is specifically designed to be able to support that. Uh, normally you would find your electrical in one box and then you would put your data next to that. If they weren't in conduit, again, make sure that you're maintaining your distance between your electrical run and your data run. So we're just gonna you'll pull this down nice and easy. And you wanna make sure that you get everything pulled down. Now we've got our faceplate and we're doing everything so that number one is on the top. I'm just gonna get that mounted in. Number two here on the bottom. And then I can just kind of slightly press this up and get it mounted. Here we have these custom trim plates and they just snap in. And then there's this last piece that clips on. And now we have this finished. Now we'll come back and we have this labeled out that we know that this is location 45. And we know that we put it in number one and two. We test every cable pair, then it will be labeled. Then we know that this is final. That concludes Ubiquity's docu-series on cable management. I'm Sean Krogan, thanks for joining us.